What's going on guys? My name is Case. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video here on the channel. And now today's video, it's going to be a little back to school. I'm not going to say haul because it's not a haul. Accessory type, what you should bring to school, what you should have for back to school. Some of you probably already started. I know my cousins have. But for those of you who haven't, like me, I start September 6th. So what do you want to be when you grow up? This is for you. Ah! My hands. I just wanna make with a stand. I just wanna, I just, I just wanna catch one glance. I just wanna see you dance, girl. I just wanna, uh, yeah. I just wanna shine like Mike. I might moonwalk on sight. I just wanna, I just, I just wanna ride my bike. And if you don't mind, we can ride. Alright, so I made a list myself of some things I want to be having for back to school and some things that I thought that you people should have. So we're just going to hop straight into it. Also, if you have my notifications on, comment it down below and I'll give you a shout out on my next video. Alright, so the first thing is kind of, you know, common sense of what you should have and it is a backpack. Now for this year, I got a new backpack. It is an Adidas backpack. I like the style of it. I like the color of it. And I just think it's nice. It's a simple backpack. Got a pocket for all my main stuff. And then, you know, the stuff that I don't want to have like books or notebooks or whatever, you know. Backpacks are not cheap by any means. So this was $30. That was probably the cheapest backpack I've ever gotten. Because usually some backpacks are like $50, $55. But if you guys want to go for a cheap backpack, definitely go for that. Because why are backpacks so expensive, people? But I got this one at Zoomies, so if you're wondering, they probably also sell them at like Adidas themselves and other places, but I got that one at Zoomies. I love Zoomies. Now the next thing that you need are some back to school shoes. Now my school has a dress code, I have to wear all black sneakers, so I picked up some all black NMDs. You can't really see them that well because they're just all black, but I like the mint at the end. But these are some all black NMDs that I picked up. But I'm going to give you guys another pair of shoes if you don't have dress code or anything that really work for me. Now if at my school I didn't have dress code or anything, I would be rocking my Vans. I love Vans. I'm going to actually be making a video soon. I'll explain to you in a second. But if you guys don't have a dress code, definitely rock some Vans if you're into it. Or Converse or if you just want to go with some other Adidas. But I totally recommend Vans. They're not that expensive compared to like Adidas, Nike, Jordans, all that good stuff. $65 compared to like 130 you know? I like them. I also have these in white too. I love them. Now the next thing you guys need is an outfit. Now I don't have an outfit here to show you, but in my next upcoming videos, I'm going to be doing a $100 outfit challenge so you guys can see what outfit I'll pick out for under $100 that you might want to rock to school. That's going to be coming up soon. Um, I'm very excited to film that video. So for outfit, pick out an outfit. And if you want some inspiration for my outfit, I'm not like a fashion person. It's just something that's comfortable for me and I like the way I look in it. So stay tuned for that. Now the next thing on my list are headphones or if you want to spend the extra buck or 160 bucks, get some AirPods. Now I recently just bought this case. I don't want a case too big because like, it's like when you see someone with an iPhone, but then they have a big OtterBox. Nothing's wrong with OtterBoxes. I just hate how big and clunky they are. But I put this slim case on it so I can attach it to my keys or something like that. Or they won't get lost. I won't forget them. But it's red. It was $3 on eBay. But anyways, AirPods. They are amazing. I've had them since... Like, I had them for four months at the end of this year this school year and I'm going into the new school year with the AirPods. They're great, they charge fast, they last forever. They last me a whole school day when I'm just walking around and I wanna listen to music instead of everybody else because people, man, people. If you don't have the extra $160 spent on headphones, definitely just rock the regular headphones that you get with an Apple product or any headphones at all, just so you can listen to music and block out everyone who's just trying to talk, you know? In the morning, I'm sitting there, everyone's talking, I just put my AirPods in, and then I, you know, yell out the lyrics to the song I'm listening to. Whatever. They like my singing. Now, the next thing on my list is definitely not a must-have, but it definitely does help me this school year. Now, I have this 2012 MacBook that's all beaten up, kind of. I put a lot of stickers on it. I'm going to take these off soon because I want to, like, sell it to Apple for, like, $200 just to get something out of it because I want to get a brand new MacBook so I can edit and stuff. This really can't handle that much, 
but this did help me this school year basically you're gonna want like an, a MacBook or if anything an iPad not a MacBook just a laptop or an iPad or something so you can type up your schoolwork have everything organized in one place I definitely do recommend using Google Drive or Google Docs it's you can access it anywhere by logging into your Gmail and you can keep it really organized I use it so it's it's nice if you're just looking for typing stuff definitely go for some old MacBooks they have some on eBay I got this on Amazon by like a refurbished seller but um, I've had this for a little bit. It's 2012, so I definitely, hopefully for my birthday, like slash my Christmas gift, I wanna get a MacBook. Oh, I can edit videos, edit pictures while I'm just like in school or something, you know? Now something that I also do recommend for school is a charging case. I use this sometimes on this phone. It's not the best, this is really loose and the top part can get lost, but it has saved me so many times when I'm in the city or something. But anyways, so I'm in school and my phone goes low because I use it a lot because school, right? So I use the charging case and it'll just give me extra battery for when I get out of school. It definitely has saved me a couple times. I think you guys should try it out. This was $25 on Amazon. By the way, I will try to link everything here um, so you guys can purchase it for yourselves. But definitely get a charging case or just get a portable charger. Those have helped me too. I have one of those for my iPad because I use the iPad in school. So definitely pick up something to charge your electronics because I know at my school you can't plug it in in the classroom. Now this is just to add on um, a watch. This is a Fitbit. I use it for fitness wise. Fitness wise. I used to use it a lot but I think I'll start wearing it this year. It's dead right now. Wear a watch. So like if you're school, you're not allowed to use your phone, take care of your phone. Wear a watch so you can see the time. Sometimes they don't let you wear electronic watches. So just buy a roll and not buy a regular watch, a cheap watch, doesn't matter. Um, that way you can tell the time and see how long you can get out of that place. And the last thing on the list that is very, very important to bring to school are mints or gum. You don't want your breath smelling like really bad. So like help everyone and yourselves Get some icebreakers, do it, no. Uh, buy mints or gum, they're really, really helpful. Please do that. I'm trying to save you people here. I'm not saying anything about your brother. Yeah, all right, just, all right, cool. We're on the same page. That's basically it for my back to school type, you know, accessory, what you should get for back to school. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, drop a like below and subscribe. Turn on notifications to get a shout out in my next video. Also, keep an eye out on my channel for the $100 outfit challenge. I'll be filming very, 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 very soon. Why did I say so many bears? But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you guys in my next one. If you're not on my next one, where are you going? I hope you guys have yourselves a great day, stay fresh as always, and peace out. Also in the comments, let me know if you're back to school or not. Let me switch this up real quick.